not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go uh. I'm sad and know, yeah I'm sad and know, yeah Who am I? Someone not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide. Hey, 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 what's up? Harlanator, so hey man, we got something to talk about. Me and I have friends, even my mom, we like talking about technology a lot and where, and where the world is going. And it's kind of interesting, man. Um, it, it's great. I just moved, speaking of technology, I just moved into this apartment and I plan on automating the lights and getting an automated, uh, some type of automated uh, freaking. I forget what it's called. Um, actually, it just flew over my head. I'm a little tired because I got off work and, you know, I'm, I'm just a little disoriented. But nothing was going to stop me from making this video anyway real quick because, you know, I just want to talk about technology. And I saw this and I was like, man, I got to hurry up and make a video on this. Uh, Boston Dynamics, they are robo uh, robotics development company. I don't know exactly where they are from, but there's this video trending on YouTube and it's called Getting Some Air Atlas. And you can see the robot like running. And first we're gonna react to the video and then I'm just gonna give, you know, my opinion on what I see and how I interpret it. And you know, I might read through the comments because sometimes the comments are like crazy, but like, oh, it's the Terminator age. You know, computers are gonna, computers and AI are gonna destroy the human race, which, I mean, I don't know, it might be possible. I mean, we made it this far, right? Who knows, will it, will it be computers to take us out? I don't know, but let's get right to this video. So it's pretty fluid what's going on. It is pretty fluid. Um, I don't know what to say about that. Let's check out some of the comments. I just want to read a couple of them and see how people are interpreting or looking at it. And so someone says, shaking my head, yeah, Transformers went down after Megan Fox. <laughs> oh my gosh. That. He said, the day I see one chasing me, I will really freak out in fear for my life. I'm done. <laughs> uh, Skynet's T799, I'm dead. Someone said, we're all doomed. I tell you, we're doomed. I cannot believe the robot and admire the maker of this robot. So Skynet is real. <laughs> I gotta keep reading these comments. That's crazy. Okay, let's hope someone said goodbye humanity. Creating the T-800 Terminator of tomorrow. And you, Boston Dynamics, think you're so smart creating humanity's destruction. This is one example of science being too concerned with can we do it instead of should we do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. It, I mean, they are just movies. How I see this is that technology is always going to progress. I don't know if, I mean the robots, okay, let's look at it realistically. Robots would have to be able to organize, like even if they become sentient and they become smarter than us. I mean, you, there's plenty of smart people or smart beings of some sort, like, you know, dogs and, you know, like people say, oh, dogs are, don't think on a human level. You don't know that they may be smart but like, it's the things that we do. We have deep reasoning and deep, like it, it's, it's on another level. It, it's on another level. It's driven by faith and passion. Whatever it need be, our brain is just constantly evolving and changing. And you know, we're sentient and you can be sentient, 
But what if you're not able to organize your thoughts? What if you're not able to organize organically and socially and easily? And, you know, even if computers become sentient, there's no, there's, who knows? What if a robot can't, you know, talk to another robot and realize they are of the same race or whatever. You know, uh, a robot's not gonna look at another robot. They may know, oh, that's a metal machine object like me, but is it made by the same company? Is it this and that? Can we even communicate with each other because we have different architecture? Like, there's, it's so deep that I don't think we can even comprehend it. But I do believe that when it comes to AI and things like that, and bad robots or whatever ultimately it would always have to it seems like to me at least there would always have to be a human controlling something behind the scenes you know i'd be more scared of a human controlling robots than robots being in control of themselves because you know a, a, a machine is programmable a human is not programmable you know what i'm saying like i i assume maybe you know, programmers and uh, computer scientists could even send out a signal to a bad robot and shut it down. You know, like I'm sure they're creating safeguards just in case. I don't know. I mean, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Robots could come and destroy us all as humans. It's kind of a hard conversation. It's kind of a hard thing to like grasp. Like how would they even, would they be able to organize thoughts? Would they be able to come together? as like actual beings and you know think critically and deeply and reasonably about the world around them. If they could if robots could do that, yes, they could probably be um, a big threat to us. Cause if they could do that, oh my gosh, you you can bet you we're toast because just like humans, humans think, oh you know, I'm not trying to bring up racism. But you know, racism, you know, humans would look at that and say, oh, I'm better than you. And what if robots do that to us? You know, that's bad. And they have that deep critical thinking and reasonable that like, what if they can invent stuff we can't? And next thing you know, we're either they're slaves or we're dead, you know? But I'm not saying that's possible. I'm just saying, hope they're not like that and they're just you know they're machines they could be smarter than us but they can't be wiser and there's a difference between being a smart person and being wise and being a critical thinker and being able to reason and seeing things for what they are and trying to make that reality better you know arguably like i said human beings we're organic biological beings we're not that strong we can't do that much I mean, arguably there's animals that's smarter and more that are stronger than us but can they think critically and create tools to extend their abilities see that's the thing you know it's, it's a hard conversation because like I said if robots can do that too if AI intelligent AI if AI can do it, artificial intelligence can do that like I said we're done we're done because all they have to do is organize, think critically, and say, hey, how can we get these humans? And you may be like, oh, we still have the upper hand because of this. Have you seen Planet of the Apes? They, humans have the upper hand in that situation too. I know it's a movie, but hey, you know, these monkeys took over just because they could reason and critically think and come together. If robots can do that, yeah, we're in trouble. But I just don't see it happening because they they may not have that. They're, even if it was programmed in, it, it's a program. It's not going to always be fluid or, you know, we're natural. We're, you know, we're biological. It, I don't know. It, it's hard. It's a, like I said, it is, it's something to think about. Anyways, guys, you guys tell me what you think down below. Do you think I'm saying it right? Do you think what I'm saying is, does it make sense? I, I don't know. 
hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Run it. And